finished board. Um, that's that's the way I got them got them built. All oh, right. So got, you've actually got that built. Yeah, I got them made, and these oh, these have actually sold it up. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. fucking branded absolutely everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised it wasn't Lucy Kate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have, you, have you got your Have you got your little stubby holder yet? Oh, oh yeah. I've got, got a stubby holder. I've got, got one. Yeah. So the she good thing with these, I've actually made it so the main the MCU is plug inable. Yeah. So you can actually plug that in. So if if that shoots itself, throw it away. So you got the actual oh. interface board stays there. Oh, very good. Um, Everything now. I originally designed these for screw terminals, but as you see, I've changed them. I've just sort of the plugs, plug them in and out, so that makes it easier. Yeah, a lot easier. Well, you, 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 a lot of the techs that we deal with, some of them are just mechanical electricians. Yeah. Not. Yeah. I was actually looking for coloured ones because these are the thermocouple inputs, and yes, you, you can swap them around. So I'll probably. Colour them up. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to colour them because you can interchange. Like that's a four-way. That's a four-way. Um, I don't want to do that. There's a few more components I have to solder on here yet with solid-state relays. Uh, yeah, I've, I've actually got them. Hopefully, coming this week. So we will so be soldering them on. So, what's the supply like to get? Oh, that's no, that's your board there. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, I've got fifty of these. Oh, Lucy, yeah. there yeah. she is. Sorry. Yeah. So I've got there. I've got fifty made. Uh, so the old, all the old ones. What's now, their the, turn? What's their turnaround time for the boards? It's good to see you too, oh, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I've, I've I've done it. it. It's it took them a week by the time I sent the CAD drawings. Oh shit, that's all right. So this is another one I'm partially done. I've sort of soldered the head of. Um, they made here or China? No, I, I well, the boards are made in China, yeah. but I'm building them here. Yeah, okay. So How I've, long does it take you to turn them around? Oh, it's a couple of hours, and then I bench test. Oh, okay. well. So this this so one half here, a day basically. Yeah, this one here I've sort of bench tested um, because that's got the MCU on it and I've updated it 1.6, so that's the current version of the software on this one. Mm. Um, I've still I kind of wanted to shrink it down a bit, but I still want to keep the voltage regulator in there because it's if there's any fluctuations, it protects that from. Well, issues. you know, power isn't as clean as it used to be. Well, yeah. So that little board there gets away from you know the big filters. Um, and these two little boards here are just for the current sensing modules. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to put them on, on the board, but there was a lot of variations with that because Logic we need two, Lincoln we only need one, so I just thought fuck it, we'll just add them on a, as a module. So these are separate. And I just well, it, I mean, it depends on the space we've got to play with. Yeah. If you can make it a smaller unit in some yeah. cases, it'll be. Well, that, yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, ideally. I mean, ideally, I can get. But um, you fit it in nicely in there, so it's not. Yeah, it, it is still too big. I can get, and I've actually got some coming, um, a DIN rail holder for these. Okay. So if we want to, we don't have to use the box. We'll just whack it on the DIN rail. But then you're exposed well, to the elements and dust no, and crap no, like that. No. So this is totally sealed. Ten years time, we'll open that up and it'll look the same. So one theory. Yeah, theory. There's no rubber so, sealing. Oh uh, yeah, there is. Uh, yep. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah, maybe in ten years it will still be yeah. reasonably good. Um, that's the uh, HW three. I haven't written on that one. Yeah. So so what I've done is um, I haven't written on that one either. So you've got the MCU version, which is the the main board, HMI version, which is the uh, screen, and then you've got the um, HW version, which is the hardware version, which is just that one, the box. Yeah. So that's that's the Lincoln version. This will be hard for hardware uh, HW4. Mm -hmm. um, and that's three. And I just like it so one. neat and tidy. It's compact. Yeah, that is now. Uh, this one, <laughs> not so not, much. Not so much. Uh, sure. Because it's all over the shop. Um, yeah, right. The MCU is a lot bigger. Um, so I'll throw that right down. And plug it out. Yeah. So, yeah, I won't pull it out. Today. Just pull that out. Got a USB plug there. So, when, when. So, really, if we wanted to run spare parts, then really. Um, you could literally have folks with just a handful of parts, and that's all they're going to need to. to I, I would these. imagine that would probably never fail. Um, these, uh, I don't know if it's this one. This one's got relays on the board. Oh, okay. Old fashioned, click, 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 click. Well, that's fucking hell, that's old fashioned. So mm. I've gone to solid state relays, and they never fail unless you've got a um, an outside fault. They they'll never fail. Mm. Um, so, whereas well, like, like these little fellas here, relays. Yeah. So I've gone away from that totally and can put. Um, look at, uh, oh, so that's like these little. These are the SSRs that. Okay. 
the guy on there. I'm looking for, what am I looking for? I'm looking for oh, my um, stuff for always this project. Oh, it's a great project. But anyway, there's a, the USB that sits on the top. So this there. is your... Um... Oh, that's the PS3. <laughs> that's ancient, that thing. It's got the old phone number still on it, but I'm going to use it on that oven out there. When I recon it. Um, so the USB is here. Careful cleaning that oven. Huh? Careful cleaning it. Yeah, I've sort of done half of it. Because if you do, you'll probably not much oven will be left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you noticed the scrolls. And... I don't know once or twice, but... You know what I mean? Like, it'll just sort of disintegrate in the hands. <laughs> there is a point with some ovens you just go, yeah, nah, yeah. you're done. Um, so I've got the smaller screen now as well for the... Oh, yeah, yeah, For yeah. the Lincolns, for the baby. That's a good idea. Baby ones. Cute, huh? Little yeah, tiny yeah, no, no, anyway. no, no, it's perfect. <laughs> in actual fact, it's probably ideal with a lot of ovens. Mm. A little bit small, though, I reckon. Look at me, oh, it's tiny. So, yeah, that's... Yeah, all right for the bench top. Yeah, that's what it's for. But oh, yeah. look, even for the bigger ones, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, Tidy. Less cleaner. Less cleaner. Yeah, yeah. Does the same so way. yeah, there's, I've got all the options pretty much sorted now. Um, so once... when do you want your first container? <laughs> Good. <laughs> when are you going to get me a workshop? <laughs> that's your job. <laughs> all right, so let's move over here. I, um, uh, what's his name from um, Malaga's coming with pizzas? Okay. Um, he's got Malaga and Forest Field. Yep. Um, ride I couldn't get. I found out why because his mum died yesterday when I texted so him. I thought, fuck it, well, that was. Yeah, that he time. was close to his mum, real yeah, close. So, um, yeah, he's, he's... he told me about her and all that sort of stuff when we met a mm. long time ago. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I've got labels made up. So, it's actually got uh, this is the old version. So, I'm going to take that out and put mm. the new one in. Mm. This is Hardware 3, which is um, the USB. So, that's just plugged into my laptop, yep. which is giving us. Uh, all our temperatures at the moment, and it'll right. actually, as soon as we touch something, it'll come in here and it'll tell us what the settings are. Um, oh, okay. Here is the oscillator uh, belt speed. So this is what I've just been playing around, calibrating, and, and all the rest of it. With the incense going in the background. Yeah, it's used right now. I think I can't smell it. Medical. <laughs> yeah, well, he's going to have to build himself a test book when he really gets going. So what what I did with that in the standby mode was worked out because it's got time on there, so mm. I can see, okay, heat up time there. It took X amount, it, took, it takes actually 40 seconds to heat back up from standby mode to operating mode. Um, so I think that's, and what I wanted to do there was work out how far from on here, how long? when you press the screen, is it gonna be enough to start, like they're gonna be in a hurry once they press that. So it takes about 10 seconds, um, so it'll be pretty close. So I don't think I wanna drop it much more than 200 degrees. No. Um, changed a few more settings on the... Is it relevant? Oh, oh, we've had that discussion, so yeah, that's fine. I, I don't know about on here, but um, the independents actually want me to update all the, the five that I've done. They say, yeah, come and update it. Really? They want it done, so yeah. So I've got to okay. run around and update. <laughs> None of them actually sit down and work out their numbers, do they? No. But, you know, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the smaller yeah, shops, true. you know, on a, on, a, on, a, on a Tuesday, how many pizzas are they going to sell? So they want it on standby. Um, whereas the Domino's, that's going to be going since, you know, when they start. Oh, well, I mean, um, all my ovens were high-performance, middle Marshall 250s. They were still 250s, though. Yeah. <laughs> but they were high they remind me of a HG Holden or something, those things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't be harsh. Good, great, oh, great oven, though. Um, they started me. They made me a little fortune. They made me. So this, this, one this, one this is the... <laughs> tool, I think we've gone through this before, but yes. this is the um, screensaver, if you like. Yep. It reverts to that when the oven's off. It, that's what it will show all the time. Yeah. It's going to show you your oven temperature. Uh, if the maintenance is due, um, it's going to come up and show you there. Yeah. Uh, if the oven's in cool down, I added this the other day, it'll actually say cool down there. Yeah. Um, because when you turn the oven off, this screen came up and you didn't know that it was in cool down, so I've added that in. Um, yeah, back to your normal screen. Um, actually, I've got the conveyor on there. I've added, added that horrible sound. Um, one issue I did have, I, I, I had a couple of warranty calls and actually they, they weren't, turned out that they weren't warranty. Um, Idiot. They, calls. they, yeah, well, they, they rang me. I said, first thing I, I do is send me a photo of um, that. So they sent me a photo of it, all green, 
so I said, well, okay, the oven on, mm. it should be heating, what's going on? Mm. So um, okay. I, I, I went out there, uh, <laughs> I went out there anyway, and what they'd done was they'd put that to 53 or whatever the belt, they thought the belt speed was because they got them confused. Oh, yeah. Okay. So they got that screen confused, like 59. So Someone has changed it there. Yeah. Uh, so what I went and did was I made that bigger. <laughs> Yeah, I've made that bigger. Yeah, yeah. I'll put a belt there. You can see the actual belt moving. <laughs> now you're getting the gist of it. Change the, change the colour. Speed setting. And you got it in three different languages. <laughs> yeah, and in here there's, well, kind of a pizza burning away, so you can see it's actually not the conveyor. Um, yeah. And you're still going to do it. And I've added minimum speed, uh, minimum, so I'm saying it now, minimum yeah. temperature, maximum temperature. Um, so, you know, that's... That's uh, I should put it down there. Um, what else have I done? So, yeah, besides that, I've, I've added the horrible noises, um, so they know they've actually done it, so they know they're pressing the button. Same with the errors if there's any errors, if the thermocouple fails. Um, if I was to turn that on without the gas um, on, it'll come up and say, Hey, your oven's not heating. Uh, so, if we did that, for example, if we left the gas, it off. Um, there's a little counter right in the corner there, you can just see it. Oh, I had, yeah. I had yeah, to actually yeah. put that there because it needs to reference that. Um, once that gets to, every oven's different. I think I set this one at 80 or 100. Oh yeah. Uh, the Lincolns are different because they had different purge times and whatever else. So once it hits 100, it'll, it'll it, go to ignition. Well, it'll, it'll say error. It'll, it'll oh, come okay. up and say uh, check temperature. So you've got to begin with the relays there. Yeah, so that's the wiring diagram. So you've kept the um, the original uh, controller. Uh, for now, yeah. The ignition pack. Ignition pack. And the um, that's going to be in that location now, the ignition module. Okay. Easy to get to. Um, in the back corner, I've got the power supply for the. Right. Uh, so you've stuck in the back corner there. What have we decided to do as far as cooling goes? Um, I've got two cooling fans at the back. I haven't put them in yet. But right. They're in, actually in there. Okay. So you see, this relates. So we've got, we've got KM1 that relates yep. there. Yep. This is, this is actually set out as a as, yep. as a prover. Um, you've got your main blower fans. You've got the current sensing modules up here. Yep. That relate to AO fan one and two. Right. So you've got uh, AO there. So you know that that circuit is one of those fans is down or one of those fans is down so they're both lit up so you know the fans are working nothing else is oh, no, nothing else is connected yet um so yeah we've got the Very clean. speed control we've got uh the psu power supply gas valves uh, Cooling fans, so it's pretty you know, nice. So what sort of cooling fans did you start to go with? Uh, in the back, I've got 150 mil axial fans. Oh, just ordinary axials. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've, I've done. I did some some tests on on when they drop out, what temperatures yep. they drop out. So I've yep. mucked around with all that. So this one here will start to give you an error. Uh, the next version on the board there, I've actually got a, an output for a. a sound device so an alarm so if the, if the fans go beyond the error message if it keeps going then it'll, it'll let you know get shut, upset. The, shut the damn yeah, thing down basically yeah. so you'll, you'll get an error coming up on yeah. here um, call, uh, call service yeah uh, it'll come up you're gonna have it like a big flash oh, there's your check temp there so because that's hit the, the time now yeah check it hasn't heated up so it says hey check your temperature something wrong Right. Actually, the alarm should be going up. Maybe I haven't turned that back on. It, it went, during testing, it was annoying. Inside. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. Shut it all down. 